Greetings everybody, Maximus here. It's been a while since we've had a 777X update, but Bloomberg is reporting that the 777X is likely to miss its launch date next year. This is according to Emirates, the Duplane's top customer who doesn't expect to receive any planes before 2022. The delivery delay is most likely due to Boeing's ongoing coronavirus shutdowns combined with what's going to be a lengthy certification process, Adele Arida, Emirates COO, said Thursday in an interview. Emirates is also considering a swap of some of the 115 777Xs it has on order for the smaller 787 Dreamliner, which might be better matched to demand, he said. Accelerating deliveries from an earlier Dreamliner order is a possibility. We will be discussing with Boeing in that regard if we look at what we can do with the 787s, he said. We are in fluid discussions and in the peak of re-examining all these kind of things. It does require re-examination, it does require rethinking, it does require renegotiation, he concluded. Bloomberg also reported that Boeing is considering delaying the 777X's introduction as other buyers also resist taking delivery of such a large plane when they're being forced to downsize operations. We continue to execute our robust test program for the 777-9, which began flight testing in January, Boeing said in a statement. We remain pleased with the progress we are making and with the airplane. Meanwhile, the FAA said, while the agency is taking steps to make risk assessments more rigorous in the wake of the MAX grounding, the certification process for the 777X began before the crashes and shouldn't be affected by the reforms. The launch schedule of the 777X had been the central focus in ongoing negotiations with Emirates, which has already swapped some of its original 777X orders for the Dreamliner. The first delivery of the 777X was originally set for this year, though the date was pushed back to 2021 following issues including delays to the plane's GE9X engines. Bloomberg mentions that Emirates' large 2013 order was instrumental in Boeing's decision to go forward with manufacturing of the 777X, but at the time it wasn't clear if Emirates or another of the launch group of customers would actually take the initial delivery. However, given all that Boeing, as well as the rest of the airline industry is going through, expediting deliveries of the 787s to Emirates would mean a much needed cash infusion for Boeing while they consider their options in a suddenly shaky wide body market as the result of the pandemic's effects on aviation sales in general. Bloomberg also mentions that Boeing is worried. There's a risk that additional order conversions and deferrals will leave it manufacturing the jet in such low quantities that 777X's profitability could be hurt. Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific, and Lufthansa are among customers that are restructuring their fleet plans. I do find it interesting that this news originated with Emirates rather than Boeing. It's not necessarily bad news. All new planes, no matter the manufacturer, yes, even Airbus, will have growing pains in the initial launch phases of a new aircraft. However, given the pandemic combined with the ongoing MAX saga, Boeing has to know that the eyes of the world are going to be on them during the certification process of the 777X. So regardless of how the news gets out, it's better for Boeing to tamper expectations of an actual launch date for the new plane. And I'm sure after the disastrous MAX experiment, Boeing knows by now it's better to get it right, not fast. Well, that's all I got for now. Just a quick update for you on the 777X. What do you think about the new plane? I'm excited about it. How about you? Leave comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And until next time, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.